Hey everyone, this week's video is a little bit late, I know, but I was having some trouble coming up with a concept. Usually when I hit a block like this, I turn to my iPod or my bookshelf, which I did, and I happened upon my old copy of this book. And I started trying to think of all the times where unicorns had, you know, done something. And then I remembered why I was a dragon girl growing up. The image of the unicorn has come a long way over the centuries, and as we're living in a time of postmodernism, I thought it appropriate to feature this, considering the fact that the unicorn, unlike the dragon or mermaid, never really graduated beyond imagery. What conceptual art is shit. It doesn't enrich our culture. It degrades and cheapens society by exalting the vulgar, the crass, and the scatological, and the people promoting it are preventing us from enjoying modern art produced by artists with actual talent. Before we reached the current point of hypercapitalism and peak cringe, however, the image of the unicorn underwent a series of subtle transformations. There were a lot like Chinese whispers, each shift more corrupt than the last. And now we find ourselves with this as the final destination. Ugh, what a mess. So where did it all go so, so wrong for the humble unicorn? Well, to answer that, we'll need to travel back in time. Woo! Let's go! To the days when the men had honour, and the women still had some class, to the days when unicorns were real and the world was on a determined quest to prove it. The Middle Ages. Enthusiasm for the hunt was sparked by a number of discoveries of bones and skeletons that resembled the famed creature, giving some people hope that the animal still lived. We believe today that the skeletons found were that of a giant rhinoceros, the so-called Siberian Unicorn, which some believe were wiped out by climate change. The author of this article seems to believe that the Siberian Unicorn's connections to its mythological counterpart are a mystery, but believe me, it's not. If you compare these two images, one based on reconstruction, the other based on interpretation, you can see how one might be conflated with the other. To the untrained eye, there are a lot of physical similarities present. False sightings in the wild ignited many people's imaginations, but it was the creature's appearance in the Bible that changed everything. The unicorn changed from a rare beast, a simple animal, to a magical creature of Christ-like abilities. And although it was still hunted, it was now pursued as a treasure rather than a trophy. But the more elusive the unicorn was, the more abstract the methods of capture became, until eventually, people stopped believing. And so unicorns faded from the scientific realm but they remained in people's hearts and imaginations. The first transformation unicorns made was from a mythical beast to a magical creature, and this was done mostly through association. Originally, the unicorn was associated with Christ, but it also came to be associated with other magical creatures, as the age of nursery rhymes and fairy tales and religion shaped people's beliefs. There were varying opinions on the subject, and the list of abilities seemed to grow the more the creature's appearance was romanticised. Eventually, the unicorn transcended the fantasy realm to become a rather versatile symbol, one that we still use today. What's interesting, though, is how the symbol has changed over time. The second transformation unicorns made was from a storybook symbol of youth and purity into a political symbol of power and nobility. 
This is the first time we see the unicorn used as propaganda. The creatures went from rare to completely inaccessible to anyone other than a person of pure heart and pure blood. It was widely believed that a unicorn would only approach a young female virgin. If the unicorn appeared but then ran away, I can only assume that... She's a witch! Get her! Get her! <laughs> or she was a good liar. The creature left the gilded pages and leapt onto family legacies and into the political arena. Of course, the whisperings of magic never truly went away. To silence them would be to sever the unicorn's ties to the divine. The inevitable changing of attitudes towards power structures and religion and the eventual decline of the authority and influence of nobility made the unicorn accessible to the average person again. Where does this unicorn come from? The unicorn star. Oh, of course. The creature appeared in books, artworks, plays and pantomimes, in films and animations and digital reimaginings. This has all led to the rampant commercialization and complete oversaturation of the unicorn in today's society. The third and final transformation of the unicorn is its complete degeneration. And the truth got lost there somewhere along the lines. Between greed and enchantment, the true nature of the unicorn has been forgotten, and gifts were given to a creature that did not truly deserve them. The truth is, they're f***ing useless. They don't have any abilities. They're just symbols. So I'm sorry if you made it all the way through this video just to realize that your favorite mythological creature is a piece of sh**. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next edition. Conceptual art is shit. Conceptual art is shit.